Welcome back, what is going down? We're out here about to make some t-shirts in the garage and we're gonna show you the process on how, or it's a sweatshirt, not a t-shirt, whatever it is, I put graphics on them and then I sell them. So we're gonna see how that goes down and how it works out. And it's never coming off. You can wash it, dry it, swim in it, you know, go camping in it, do whatever you want in it and let everybody know that you're from Tacoma and you're a thrasher. I'm not joking when I say it's freezing cold out here. You see that? That's my breath. First things first you gotta do when you make t-shirts is open up your program. It doesn't matter what program you use, you gotta open it up and get it started. This should be easy because I already have it designed. All I gotta do is open up the file. I'll show you how to open up the file after it loads. Okay, we have to make a new one because I guess I didn't have the, um, I didn't save it. I don't usually save, I save things, but sometimes I do it in a hurry. So this is how you make a quick, real quick deal. Right here, landscape. Let me go here, like this. And then hit T. Right there. T-A-C-O-M-A -A. Enter T-H-R-A-S-H E-R Then we make it big Bam And then we do this We'll bow So cold out here Computer doesn't work right Center it up And then Big boy we gotta black it out too. So you go up here to the color, hit black, and go to fill color. Fill colors right here, then go black. There you go. I'm gonna drag this to 15. I don't know why I'm doing that when I can just type it in, huh? Trying to teach you guys something I don't even know what I'm doing. There, we got it. Bam. Thank you, ma'am. We're in there like swimwear. The vinyl comes on rolls. You just roll it out. And then you put it in your cutter. My cutter's right over here. That's the next step. And then you want to cut it out on your cutter mirror. So it's reversed. So when you do when you do it. It cuts it out backwards, but then when you flip it over this way, it looks normal. Sometimes when it's on the roller, I mean when it's been rolled up for a while, um, it's it's hard to straighten out. So we straighten it out. And now we just hold it with this hand and load it. Okay, after you got it done loaded and you got your graphic already set up, you want to do a test cut just to make sure, even though that it looks straight in your cutter always do test cut to make sure that it's actually straight and it's frozen out here and I'm sorry that I'm stuttering okay now you cut it out on your plotter now you gotta weed it out and you ask yourself what does that mean you take whatever you like to use you can use a pick I use a knife and you just cut out the in between. The reason why I did the test cut is so I know where the end is at. I'm going to do this a little bit different. 
see I would if I was doing this on my own and not doing a teaching segment I would rip it out right here but I'm going to show you another way on how to do it you put this whole thing underneath here just to get it warmed up and it's so easy to peel off the backing it's so easy to peel off because the way it's going to work is that it cut out the letters and we undo the take this part off the letters will stay and then we can press it on the shirt as the graphic <laughs> Okay, here's almost the final step. You gotta put your um, sweatshirt, t-shirt, whatever you're printing on, you gotta put it on your board. This is the way I'm doing it. Sometimes I do it backwards. Sometimes I line it up this way. Sometimes, it just depends on what I'm doing and how I'm doing it, you know? So this way is easier right now to do it this way because it's trying to get it done and over with. You can just tuck that in there like that so it don't get stuck. Four and a half. Four and a half. You've just been doing it such a long time you know what four and a half and five looks like. Here's another step that I'd like to do is pre-press the shirt because it's it's been hanging on the rack or wherever you left it, there's moisture in it, so you want to get that moisture up. 15 seconds. See that? Stinks. That this is straight on there. This is how you do this. Take your ruler. Make sure it's three inches down, two and a half inches down. That's right, on the money. Make sure that you want to make sure this letter is the same distance from here and this letter is the same distance from here on both sides. And then you want to walk away and step back to eyeball it to make sure it looks okay straight eyeballed because that's how people look at your stuff it's straight you know this, they look at it oh that's dope so you just want to make sure that it's straight everything looks good lined up straight and you put it right here like that you want to put this on top and then you want to hit it the bow 15 seconds it's done and then i do it twice for another 15 seconds the bow i hit it one more, and it's done is a hot peel so what that means is you can just peel it right off of here like so that is hotter than your mom when she's mad at you it's hotter than your mom when she's mad at you so then I'll, I do it again I just like doing it twice because then I know it's in there and it's never coming off you can wash it dry it swim in it you know, go camping in it, do whatever you want in it, and let everybody know that you're from Tacoma and you're a thrasher. Oh, that's hot. Don't touch that, that's hot. That's when you know you got a good one. Basically, there's four steps of making a t-shirt. This way, four, four steps. So, well, five, you gotta get a graphic. You gotta get somebody or you gotta be an artist yourself or you know how to do graphic design. Then you gotta uh, put it through your program on your computer. Then you gotta cut it out on your vinyl cutter. Then you gotta weed it out. 
by hand with whatever you use. I use a knife, you can use a pick, you can use their little tools that they have to buy, to, to use with the machine. I don't like using that tool. I like using a knife, I have more control. And then you gotta heat press it. Five best ways making a heat transfer vinyl t-shirt, sweatshirt, whatever. It will never come off. Cause you know how to do it the right way cause I just showed you. How old are you? I'm <laughs> just kidding. Twelve and a half. <laughs> and five! Two and three quarters? Any back of candidates for D in this room. 89. Right, and I'm sure you would lie to us. Look, guys, just Keep it casual. Let's get on a high level. Keep it casual. Let's get on a high level.